happy first video of 2022 and a happy new year. I'm gonna pop you up here so we can chit chat while I finish my makeup. Yay, you're on. Ah, good morning, guys. It is a grim, miserable January day today, but that doesn't matter because I'm here with you and it is a brand new year. I don't know about you, but I actually haven't really felt the new year vibes. I haven't even set new year's resolutions yet. I just haven't had that kick of like, oh, it's a new year. Only just saying that to you was I like, okay, okay, this is a new year. I feel like I need to say, Happy New Year to people more and then maybe I'll realize it's actually a new year. I mean the other day I wrote 2020 on a form when I was coming back from Anguilla. I went away for Christmas and New Year and went to my family with my family to Anguilla. It was my second time in Anguilla. It is so beautiful. I haven't seen some of my cousins since February 2020, particularly Lucy you guys might remember from my old, 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 old vlogs when she was like a little baby. She's not a baby anymore. The one thing I do really want to do this year is move into my house. That is the absolute dream. I mean, hopefully it's only month one, so we have another like 11 months. And hopefully at some point I will move into my house. That would be great. I feel like I actually did a Q&A on stories to see what you guys wanted to see in this video. And loads of people were like, wait, I thought you were already in your house. This is a rental. So just so we're clear, this is a rental. This is not my house. We're going to go see my house today. See the updates. Because I haven't actually been there yet. And the painter was in over Christmas. And the plumber's there today. And I just want to see... I don't know, I miss my house, I wanna go see it. So gonna go and do that today. This is a really old Charlotte Tilbury lipstick that they don't do anymore and it's so good. Look at this, this is, I'm not showing you my tits. This is Charlotte Darling. It's such a beautiful color and I'm literally gutted they don't do it anymore. And this is a Redial gloss I'm gonna put over the top. This is Strip, this is one of my favorite, favorite glosses. Look at my ass. Mm. By the way, I'm wearing the new. <gasps> you guys are gonna love this. Look at my skin. Mm. I'm wearing the new Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. I've used quite a bit of it already. Can you see? It's so good. Since it came out, I can't even remember. No, since I got my hands on it, it was before it came out. I used it all the winter holidays. I just think it makes your skin look so flawless. I might just do a bit of powder first, actually. This is the By Terry palette, the Hyaluronic palette. This is great because my skin color, depending on my self tan and my tan tan, fluctuates. So I like using different colors to powder my face in different areas, different shades. So this is perfect and it just mattifies what I want to mattify. Let me just try and attempt this eyeliner. You know how your day is gonna go based on the eyeliner you can achieve. So let's see if today's gonna be a good day. Okay, not bad. Makeup is done. Should we go get ready for the date? I have to say my hair compared to this time next last year is just totally, totally different. It's amazing and it always blows my mind how much can change in a year. Doesn't it just blow your mind? I mean, I'm not just talking about my hair. I'm very happy my hair has changed, but it's not just about the hair. Good morning to you. Good morning to you, little stretching downward dog. Good morning to you. I'm gonna change and then I will feed you. Yes? Yes? I missed you when I'm away from you. I just stare at pictures of you most of the day and then I watch funny videos about you. He actually goes to my friends at Hastings with a little cute selfie and they always send videos and pictures of the dogs and I love them. Don't I? I saw you playing in the forest and you look like you're having the best time. Oh, thanks for the kisses. He is such a licky dog. Like, I know people sometimes don't like it, but you just love, you see skin and you just want to lick it, don't you? What are we wearing today, folks? Let's have a look here. I've actually got a little emerald stack on my ears, which I'm really loving, and on my fingers as well. <sighs> this is the temp shroom. I'm actually in the process of designing my shroom shroom for my new house, which is really exciting. I was thinking of actually having everything closed because it's just so much easier. And in my last room, everything was open. It always had to be neat, even though it always wasn't neat. So that's where I'm at right now. Where are my leather pantalones? 
that just reminded me before we get ready i actually was wanting to change because i have done actually you know what i have done a bit of a new year new me thing well not really new me but just a new year thing in that i've cleansed i've done a major cleanse i have got rid of the most designer things that I've ever got rid of in my life I think because I am such a hoarder and I've put them on my depot and I want to actually take pictures of all the things on my depot on me I uploaded the bags and shoes last night but dresses and clothes I wanted to show on me because I just think that's just a bit nicer isn't it so let me quickly go upstairs and try everything on I mean I have such a lot of stuff on my depot right now I'll show you a little peek these YSL shoes are already sold but I have these Aquazura shoes I have this Jacques Mousse bag I'm selling these Rene Cavolias I wear my other ones way more than this these Manolos already sold got this YSL clutch on my Depop this Chanel bag and this Gucci bag I think sold and then I have two Givenchy Antigonas and I'm gonna try on the clothes now for Depop as well this is a little temple dress. I've got a big bag of dresses there. This is actually something I'm selling because I just didn't wear it. And it's brand new. I literally wore it once. It still comes with the box. It's the Fendi East West bag. And it has like all the tags and receipts and everything still in there. So this would be a really good gift, I think. It's literally so new. It still has the plastic on. Okay, new pieces are added on Depop, but I just put this on and I love it. I don't want to sell it, but I do, but I don't. This is a little temple jumper. Look at these. Hold on, let me roll that down so I can show you properly. Look at these sleeves. This is why I have such a hold out. I try stuff on when I'm about to sell it and I'm like, you know what? I will wear this. No, Amelia, you put this in the sale pile. It's going. Classic little blush toned outfit of the day. You know what I like? I like blush with the little hints of green on my jewelry. This is a great little old coat from Popsky. I'm not sure that they do it anymore, but I will link their Instagram down below. And then I have a me and M little plain, what color is this? Like a blush jumper underneath. My Chanel bag and my leather pantalones. On my ears, I've got an emerald stack on this ear with a little bibby stud and little Freya. And then I think I have kind of similar on this ear to be honest. Yeah, emerald and nail and I have a Rana stud. And then I have Kaya. And then I have literally all emerald pieces. I have palm. Then I have a little stack here with jasmine. And then I have a double ash. I kind of like how that looks. And a Cleo. Shall we go to the house? Just got to the house. It's all kicking off. It's all kicking off. Toilets are going in today. These are my beautiful Thomas Crapper toilets. Everyone always laughs when I say Thomas Crapper like it's a joke because <laughs> it's a toilet. But this is actually a brand of toilets. They are really, really old school English. They are so beautiful. You'll see there's a whole wooden seat. I don't actually know where it is and I don't want to mess with Conrad's situation, but oh, it's so pretty. Lots of the paint has gone in. This is my dressing room color, which is Fair and Full Dimity. It's like a beautiful, warm, peachy cream. This is the current status of the hallway, which has been painted ready for the flooring and the carpets to go in. You can't really see the colour of the hallway here. Oh, you can see it a bit better there. This is Archive by Farrenball. It is so cosy. I'm obsessed with it and we're going to have a navy runner on the stairs that's going in in January. A navy sisal runner. Just wait till you see the blinds. It all ties in so nicely. This is going to be one of my favourite bathrooms. So excited to show it to you in its current state. This is really cool. We have the bathtub here, which I feel like you've seen that recently without the painting yet. So this painting was done over Christmas. And the theme in here is pretty obvious. We have the honey colored marble mixed with the gorgeous green. If you pan around here, let me just walk over my toilet. You can see we've literally just painted the beading on the paneling, which I think looks really pretty. And the toilet is going in today. This is a toilet from Porter because the window that we're putting it up against is actually quite low. So this was like the only toilet that fit. And then all here is going to be herringbone marble, all honey colored. So These are the big marble slabs for my bathroom. And all my taps have arrived. Never in my life did I think I would have Leafroy books in my bathroom. But here we are. Okay, I don't really know what any of this means. I want to see what they look like, but I think it's all like random things that I'll never understand. 
is my first cap opening unboxing. Oh, it's so beautiful. You've never seen more beautiful taps in your life. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Oi. Oh yeah, that is what I'm talking about. That is one sexy cat. <laughs> For my powdery one, I'm going super, super, super old school. This is a Thomas Crapper toilet roll holder. It is one of the sexiest things I've ever got in my life. And this is the powder room. You can hear a lot of Polish in the background, which looks, what do you think here? Doesn't it look really cool, this cover? It's so cool. It's amazing. It's I not coming off as warm. Yeah, it looks much cooler on the camera, but it's quite warm in real life. Oh, wow. We're going to have really fun wallpaper up here. And all I here. love this. Wasn't yeah. the other one, it was like dark, a dark Darker. Option. Yeah, I'm glad I went for the light one. I just want something that you walk in and you're like in a different world. Like it's yeah. really fun. Like, this is really cool. Yeah. Now I show you the joinery that went in in the living room. So this is the joinery in the living room. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. We've actually had to order a new, what is that called? Cornice? Just a bit all the way. We had to go and get it copied and order a brand new panel. But I'm really happy with this. It's kind of similar to what I had in my old place. And it's gonna have little cupboards at the bottom with the fireplace in the middle. My sky glass is gonna go there. I just noticed that my dining room wall lights arrived, which are somewhere in here. Oh no. Well, these are my wall lights, sneak peek, but in here, is my chandelier. This is my chandelier, which doesn't look like much without the lampshades and lights in, but you can kind of see from underneath the style. I'm very excited about seeing this art. If you look on the shelves on your joinery, they're all slightly beaded. I wanted tiny little details like that. Back in the office now. Now that you've seen the house updates, I can tell you what I did last week, which you may have spotted already, but I went to go and see my kitchen being made. So, rewind. Good morning, guys. Today is a very, very, very exciting day. Huge day for the Mina Liana home club of one. <laughs> Duke's not coming with me today. I am going to see my kitchen being made in the factory, which is, I think, pretty much a once in a lifetime opportunity. I am having my kitchen made by the Woodworks, which are a British brand. They are British manufactured, British companies. It's a family run business, which means so many amazing things. One of which being that I can actually go to the factory, which is in London, to go and see my kitchen being made from scratch, which is so cool. I can go and see the color before it's installed. I can go see the drawers. I can see the finishes. I'm so, so, so excited for this day. I'm so excited about it. Josh is gonna be there. Joel is gonna be there. The team will be there to talk me through everything. I'm kind of excited to see what I'm actually going to see because I have no idea what to expect. I've never been to a kitchen factory before. Okay, we're literally going downstairs into the factory before we go in and it's all loud and drilly. Hi Josh. Hi. <laughs> Josh and Joel. J and J giving me the tour. <laughs> Very excited about this. VIP service. Yeah. Thank you. This is it. Wow, this is so cool. Oh my god, this is crazy. We'll take you through every step. Okay. What happens when the material yeah. comes in all the way Do that. to it okay. being assembled. Okay. The material comes in. Yeah. And it comes in a big sheet. So you see here, massive, massive sheet. Yeah. It gets lifted up, lifted up and put on the bed. Yeah. And then we have uh, the programs that are done by the technical designers upstairs. And they will come and, and it, the machine basically cuts it into panels, which are much smaller in size. Yeah. Is this mine? No. Uh, That's not mine. No, no. Yours is, is literally finished. Oh my god, okay. Uh, so once the panels come back, yeah. off of the CNC, this is what they look like. So you'll see... Oh, this is so cool. Like, wow! I'm really blown away. Like, look how cool this is. You'll notice that there's... This is like a raw edge. Yeah. So what does that mean? It's like a machine. raw... Okay, it comes yeah, out so like that. That's the core of the material, and this is the, the base that like you see. Okay. This is for all the insides of the covers. Yeah. And once this is done and cut like this, yeah. it gets put on the edge bander. Okay. And it basically applies a small section of tape. Joel's trying to find me one. Glues it on basically. Here's what oh, we that's earlier. so cool. <laughs> that is so cool. 
God, it looks so neat. Yeah, so the, this machine basically does a lot of the work. Yeah. So this is the pallets of stuff that need to be edged. Then they go there yeah, to the, the edge, edge exactly. and then what happens? And then if it is your, your, your insides of your cupboards, yeah. they then get assembled. So go yeah. to the assembly. Okay. Oh my God, is that mine? That yeah, you noticed that color? <laughs> Wait, this is crazy. Oh. This is my cupboard. The ones that go on the wall. Okay. So you'll have obviously your glaze. Oh my god, Josh, they look amazing. They look so cool. I think the colour is incredible. Yeah, the colour's so nice. And I think it looks lovely with the oak. Wow. Yes, we have oak inside. I think it looks amazing. This is my favourite. Yeah. What are we looking at? This is. Oh! Whoa! Obviously, we're missing one front, but that, for me, it looks. That is unbelievable. Oh my god, it's stunning! I could scream. I'm going to burst everyone's eardrums in excitement. Wow. Oh my gosh, it looks so nice. Oh, that looks amazing. This is stunning. This is so cool. It's not often that I get this excited about. about really? Yeah. Oh, I mean, yeah, I'm so glad. This, this is what I would have Really? Oh, yeah. Cool. How long does it take the team to make the kitchen like in days? Because uh, it feels really fast. I feel like it all of a sudden it's just here. Yeah, so, amazing. so depending on how big the factory is, the whole process probably takes three or four weeks. Wow. Three or four weeks. Okay. Um, and that's everything, cutting everything. Yeah. All that. Bear in mind, all of these doors are done by hand. So I'll show you the, the guys work on it. They're all okay. done by hand. Um, and then obviously the spraying is what takes a lot. I'll show you the spray shop as well. This is really cool. They look so pretty. I just want to go and like see my little doors again. It looks so pretty. We're just looking at the doors which are all made by hand. Oh wait, so they attach together like that? Yeah, and then you have the center panel. Oh my gosh. Wow. That's really cool. Like Lego. Yeah. Like really grown up Lego. Really grown up Lego. It's so funny because you never really think about how it gets made like this. How it's literally someone there making it all by hand. Wow. And then you've left, we've got this centre yeah. center routed out a bit for the for the centre panel. Okay. That's how you make the shaker. Oh it's amazing. It looks so cool. I'm obsessed with my doors. Look how pretty they look from far. Look how pretty they are. Yeah. Wow. So this is ready to go to my house Richard next week. <laughs> Didn't realise you were wrapping my door there, did you? Oh my gosh, this is coming. To me, I'm so excited, wow. So this is what the Woodworks factory looks like. True British craftsmanship. We're going up there. Well, those are all appliances apparently, but this is, this is a maze. This is the rest of the kitchen ready to go. The rest is the rest of my kitchen. Oh, cool. Oh my gosh, look, it's like inside. <laughs> Everything, oh, what's this? This is my oven situation. God, it's very tall, isn't it? <laughs> Wow! So you can see that's actually, this is exactly what it's put. I mean, there's a yeah. little thing there, but... That's this is where I would right pull my oven yeah. from. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. The oak oh, looks yeah, really it's pretty. Just, uh, one of the finished drawbacks. <gasps> yeah! It's really smart. Where are we going now? Uh, we will go into the spray shop. Okay. Where it's all painted. So, is it spray painted? We spray paint all okay. our furniture. It's spray lacquered. It's a harder wearing finish. Okay. Uh, and it's a lot smoother. Where it's hand painted, you can see the brush. Is that where everything's dry? Yeah. Even the drying rack. Exactly. Um, so 
the painting process. Like, I yeah. Joel can explain the painting process because it's quite. Is it's it quite, better that something's spray painted? It's a different look. This, this is wood, is, basically. Yeah. And we just put a clear lacquer over the top. Of okay. It. Or stains. This is this is stains. So everything yes. comes in here to be painted. Wow. Well, this is a pretty colour. <laughs> so friendly here. That is really hot. Oh, that's a cornice. I'm like, what even is that? It's gonna go on top of your unit. Yeah. It's lovely moldy. Oh my gosh, it looks so... Oh, yeah, exactly. Jesus, you guys are strong. Okay. Wow, that's so cool. The colour looks amazing. It looks so... So what's this? This is one of the empire panels. Okay. It's a piece of clay that we run over it and it takes off all the dust and all the little particles and so on. It smooths it right back up. This is the appliances haven. Oh my god, what fun. Cooker, so many ovens. Wow, this is... I feel like I'm in... A kitchen lover's dream. We're just watching this. Oh, he cut exactly. How, oh wow! Look at that. If this can do it so accurately, there's no point in doing it. So now. it's literally cutting in the hinges as we speak. Can you see? And now it just cuts out the door. Isn't that cool? Oh, I'm going now. Bye, kitchen. I'll see you next week. Good morning, guys. It is a beautiful Wednesday morning. We are now fully up to speed. I'm posting this today, this vlog, because I'm going to be posting on Wednesdays this year so far until I change my mind. <laughs> Post again on Sundays. Do you hear that? There was a dog snore. So <laughs> and this is how I find him. I just hear him snoring and then I follow the noise. <laughs> Anyway, I'm just in here because I want to do something similar to this in my house where I just have flush cupboards to the wall, which I think is really great and so useful. And here is where I keep shoes. It's a bit inconvenient having my shoes in a totally separate room, but that's just kind of how this worked out. Shoes just fit really well here. And I have boots downstairs and right now I'm just wearing boots every day anyway. And then I have coats some other coats up here as well. By the way, I have a home account on Instagram, which you can follow me on. It's Amelia Liana Home. I've made it private at the moment because I just kind of don't really want people stalking it, honestly, I find it a bit weird. So I don't mind if people follow it, but I just don't, I don't know, like, <laughs> it's honest with us. I'll tell you the honest truth. I just don't want ex-boyfriends stalking my house. <laughs> Is that really weird? Like, I just, I don't, I don't know, I just like, I just want it to be for me and you, like people I know. I kind of want to be able to like control who sees the ins and outs of like what's going on in my house. A bit weird, but it's, it's, it's my baby right now. It's my baby. It's the biggest project I've ever done. So I'm being weird about it, okay? I'm just holding my hands up and saying that is not normal behavior, but I don't, I don't. But... <laughs> anyway, that is it for our first vlog back of 2020. 2022. <laughs> 2020. Do. Please tell me I'm not the only one that does that. That really just... Anyway, I think I think it's best, best that I leave now. So I hope you're all having a good week and that you had a good start to 2022. And I will see you next Wednesday. Bye, guys.